of the defense mechanism, whenever a person sees something around him, on the basis of his self-centric mechanism, which makes the person either to be retarded or whether as well as to prevent these things or to have a counter mechanism in the methodology of attack when he is in the self centric phase. The same thing is extended from a human being, from his own self towards his relations and possessions. To say what himself, he extends the defense practical outburst. The same thing is extended if the person is ecocentric. The person is physiocentric as well as ecocentric. So physiocentric expansion leads the person to take care, to protect and prevent his relations on the basis of, it may be on the basis of a physiological affinity or a psychological affinity or an intellectual communion, whatever it may be. Any type of this communion, the persons are then allowed to get into the embracement of a person's different mechanism. That is known as physiocentric, that relation. Then hypocentric, he is with the same power, he is safeguarding his possessions, his land his valuables, his valor, his pride, his honor. So, each and every person starting from self-protection, becomes mechanism, in higher, they proceed towards self-burning of their relations as well as their possessions. And uh, in a broader way of the theories of geocentric or cosmocentric expansion, the person gets the glorious and the the laudable instinct of safeguarding the nation. So the defense mechanism, which starts with a biological instinct of <coughs> self-protection, which is extended towards the protection of his relations and possessions, which on the basis of his intellectual or spiritual evolution, which tempts the person to develop an instinct which is the mind to serve for the nation, to protect the nation, to prevent the infecting dangers of the nation and for the society. So this defense mechanism becomes kinetic, static and sublime if the measures are there for preparedness, for prevention as well as to face anything. And when there is a practical aggression, practical fruitful aggression that is against it, it is transforming, the same thing is transforming into the form of a power. So, defense is a biological instinct and the war is an emotional outburst of the same instinct whenever yes, the person is subjected to an impending danger by a practical and turbulent aggression. Whenever a person has no other way to safeguard himself or his dependent being the national honor, the national pride, the national security or the status of the nation, he takes into war without minding the law of his life. So taking this, this war, there are different approaches for defending this war. So there is nothing known as peace as per general explanation, if we deeply go into the root of peace, there is nothing specially known as peace. The natural equilibrium state of the society or a mind or any atmosphere where there is no interruption of any external element any unwanted elements, any malicious elements, that state of total freeness from abnormality, disaster, confusion, or any state of imbalance of the various equilibriums of mind, state, and status, that is known as peace. So peace is the undisturbed natural rhythm of the society as a whole 